know. I've just come back from our break room where we find all of our vending machines. You know, we've been talking about the ultimate pulse and the seven course meal, and it wouldn't be complete without everything that comes from the vending machine. Now, all of these provide fuel for the folks that we depend on to keep our interactive intelligence system running, our IP staff. And we want to invite them in to watch this episode of our video series. So we have to serve food for them. We're going to take a look at the tools interaction supervisors provide for monitoring your service. Many of us in the call center never take a look at this information. We count on our kitchen administrators to do that for us. If you call center folks are interested in what the IT folks are about to learn, well, grab a bag of chips. Pull up a chair. I'm pleased to introduce our special guest for this episode, one of our interactive intelligence technical gurus, David Turner. While Interaction Supervisor is primarily intended for contact center supervisors, it is also an excellent tool to assist administrators and technical staff in monitoring and troubleshooting an Interaction Center system. The views you choose will depend on the information you are looking for, so for now, I'll highlight a few that I find most useful. These are all system views and require the System Status Supervisor plug-in license. The Call Activity view is a great place to get a synopsis of the activity on an Interaction Center system and can be viewed by line or by station. For a more detailed look at system activity, the Queues view narrows down activity to specific user, station, workgroup, and line queues. When investigating a report of trouble with interactions in the system, these two views provide a wealth of information, including call IDs, users, stations, calling party numbers, etc. The System Status view provides a wide array of statistics about the activity and health of the system. The categories of statistics available in this view will vary depending on what components are licensed and can be displayed or hidden in the Statistics Selection dialog. For each statistic, alerts can be configured to notify you of potential problems with the system. Check out the video segment on alerts for more information. While there are many different statistics that may be useful, I'll highlight a few. It is important to be aware of how system resources such as disk space and CPUs are being utilized. The IC Performance section includes a number of statistics regarding the overall health of the active IC server. The status of a switchover pair can be monitored in the IC System Status section. You may want to send an email alert when the time since last switchover resets to be notified of a switchover event. For HMP systems, the Telephony Resources and Facts sections include statistics for HMP resource utilization. Monitoring these is important to be sure that resources are available to meet the business needs of your organization. For example, if you notice that you are regularly running out of conference resources, this means that parties who may need to participate in conference calls are unable to do so, and additional licensing may be needed. Finally, the Session Managers view displays statistics for various thin client session managers and information for clients currently connected to them. To view connected client sessions, right-click on a Session Manager and click Show Sessions. This dialog includes a variety of information, including user and station IDs, client versions, and connection time. 